You woke up one morning, you've opened up your Facebook ad account and you got hit with the message of death. Your ad account is disabled or you've lost access to your business manager or even worse, your personal Facebook profile ad access has been restricted. What do you do? How can you recover your ad account? How can you finally advertise again on Meta? I want to show you all the ways in which I've known as a meta ad partner myself, spending close to $10 million a year just on meta ads specifically. I'll show you all the ways in which I've now known how to unblock accounts for the hundreds of clients that we've worked with. And so to get straight into this video, the first place you're going to want to head to is business.facebook.com forward slash business dash support dash home. And it might ask you to log in. So if it does ask you to do so, then please do so. So you're going to be met with a screen like this one right here. In this case, here you'll probably be seeing some issues pop up. So you'll have like recent account issues and then you'll have like any sort of outstanding issue. You should be seeing your ad account right here and something that says like your ad account has been restricted. Now, how is that going to look like if that's the case? Let me show it to you right now. So it's going to look a little like this. You're going to see your ad account and it's going to tell you like status disabled. So that is when your ad account got shut down. Now, when you click on this right here, it will tell you whether or not this is permanent or if there's something you can do about it. And I'll kind of tell you what this might look like and also what can you do in either case. So specifically, I am starting this video by focusing purely on recovering an ad account. I'll talk about the business manager side of things and the personal ad access a little later in this video. So if you click on your ad account right here, you should see one of these three screens, either something like this right here, which is going to tell you at the top in a big red banner, ad account permanently disabled, which means Facebook has done a review of the account. They've made a final decision and there's literally no way you can get this ad account back up. Again, I'm going to cover what you can do later in this video. Now, another way you might be seeing this is something like this right here, which they're saying, Hey, you know, this ad account is disabled. There's no like big bars here at the top. And then on the right hand side, they tell you, well, what can you do to continue advertising? Use another ad account, which this is another way to show pretty much the same thing as I showed earlier here, which is you just can't advertise again with this account. Like there's no way to get it back. Now, a third way in which they're going to show you the fact that you might not be able to advertise is going back to earlier. If I still click on my account like this, you might be met with a different screen like this one right here. So I'm showing you the three different ways in which you might actually be seeing a restriction. So here they're gonna, you're going to see something like this, you know, re restricted your account, why this happened. And then what you keep scrolling down, how we made this decision, blah, blah, blah. There's literally no way in which you can recover it also with something like this. But now again, what can you do in these situations, even with a permanent disabled or a bit of a gray zone disabled, which is like this one or this one, which they don't have a big red banner at the top that says this is permanently disabled, but they're like hinting at the fact you can't really get it back. What can you do? I'll show you that right now. Now, very quickly, you might not be seeing this, meaning when you click on your account, it might be saying disabled and here on the what can you do side or on the action steps on a page like this one, you will be seeing a button that says request for a review. OK, which I invite you to do so. If you see this button, click on it, which now a human will manually review the account and will decide to reinstate it or not. So whether or not you see this button, I want to show you a manual way to get in contact with Meta support. So what you can do is heading back to the first page I showed you in this video, which again is business.facebook.com forward slash business dash support dash home. So what I want you to do is scroll all the way down on this page you're going to see a little button that says still need help, reach out to a support professional if you're still experiencing an issue with your account. So here you're going to do contact support. And I'm going to be giving you the exact template I use when contacting support. Now they're going to say we detected one issue that might need support, which here funnily enough, this was actually the ad account I showed you earlier that got disabled. So Facebook recognized that like I have an issue right now. So I can either click on this issue, or I'm going to go Oh, it's something else. So here I can click it's something else as an example. But Usually going back to this right here, I'm going to be clicking uh, the issue because usually they're going to know, like, especially if this is recent, you're going to see that right here. So you either click the issue or you click something else. Now, they're going to ask you what asset can we help you with? You can simply click on it and select the ad account that got disabled right here. Get help. You're going to see uh, usually either just email or they might give you an option for messenger. I'll typically pick email and the template you want to use here is going to look like this. I'm going to paste it right there and read it with you. Hey, Facebook team, 
I understand that my Facebook ad account is currently blocked from carrying out advertising activities. I acknowledge my mistake and I'm going to stop myself right here. Ask yourself this. When you look into your ad account, there is two reasons or two ways in which you might have gotten disabled. Okay. Way number one, you actually did something bad. Like you know who you are. If you're watching this video, you are maybe in a black hat industry. You've done something that wasn't compliant with the policies, something along that line. If that's you, then put the message exactly as is, as I'm, I'm reading out loud to you right now. If you strongly believe and know for a fact that this was a mistake, like you got disabled on meta for literally no apparent reason, which happens sometimes again, this is all done with AI. Those are bots that automatically block you from advertising. So there are mistakes at times. What do you do? Simply change this message and explain why this was a mistake. Okay. Now, to carry on out with reading, I acknowledge my mistake and will adjust my advertising practices to comply with Facebook's advertising policies moving forward. I apologize for any past violations, take full responsibility, and I'm committed to adhering to all guidelines to ensure a positive user experience on the platform. Thank you for your time and attention to this request. I would greatly appreciate a review and consideration of my account status. And then, believe it or not, you can also upload a screen recording. Strongly advise that you do this. If you can show and demonstrate that this was a mistake. So if you've like actually not complied with the policies, don't attach anything. Just hope that this message is going to be sufficient to get you back, which I've seen it a few times. If you have not made a mistake, you again, strongly believe this was not something that you did that caused the account being disabled. Yes, do a screen recording and show to the Facebook agent that is going to be reviewing your case. Show them, you know, going through your ad account and like that you are compliant, that everything is like under control, that there's no reason why they should have banned you, that you've complied with all the policies that you are aware of, so on and so forth. Here, you're going to want to paste in your uh, ad account ID right here. Now, how do you find this ad account ID? Uh, going back to it earlier, you'll typically when you click on an ad account disabled, you'll find this under ad account ID. You can just copy it right here and then just paste it right there and then hit send email. Usually within about a day or two, you'll get a reply back from Facebook. Okay. Now it might not mean this reply will be positive. They don't always unblock you. Another very common reason for getting blocked from advertising is the following. Usually if you miss a payment, this is like a very, very common one. If you miss a payment, okay, on the ad account, like the credit card bounced or the bank declined it or insufficient funds, whatever. Uh, you'll usually get like a messenger message from Meta Business Support. It looks like this. We restricted your ad account, you know, ad account name and ad account ID. Two ways to resolve this. You either add another payment method or you'll just, you know, complete the payment. Essentially, it's pretty simple. If you ever get that, don't worry about it. All you have to do is like click on either add a payment method or go to your ad, ad account and manually hit like pay on the balance that is outstanding. OK, so this is not like a permanent ban usually. And it's, again, a very common reason why people get taken down on the platform. Now, what happens if you cannot get this back up? Okay, well, the first thing I want to tell you or the first thing I would try if I was you is I would try to make a new ad account. How do you do this? Let me show you. So to create a brand new ad account, what you want to do is you want to head to your business settings on Facebook. How do you do this? Business.facebook.com forward slash latest forward slash settings. From there, you're going to want to scroll down to ad accounts right here. And then try and make a new ad account by creating or clicking on the button, the blue one up top right corner, creating a new ad account. Now, before you do this, you might want to check whether or not you actually can do so. Easiest way to do this is you go to the top left corner to business info. And then here you're going to see your ad account creation limit. It's going to tell you how many accounts you can create. So this number might only be one. OK, this number might only be a one in your case. What do you do if this is a one? Well, I'm going to show you how to unlock more ad accounts. So. First thing is if you check out my channel and you go to one of my most popular videos, it's a video called how to create a meta business manager account. Okay. Check this video out. It's going to show you how to verify your business manager on meta. Once you verify your business manager with legal documents, proving that you are a real business entity, you'll typically unlock a higher ad account creation limit. Usually that limit is going to go up from one to three or five or 10. Those are like the main thresholds. They're typically going to unlock you to. So then once you've unlocked this limit, then you can create a new ad account in your business manager. So that being said, apart from that, there's a few other ways in which you can do so. So I'm telling you right now, I'm going to leave in the pin, the comment down below. The first comment in the description below is going to be a link 
that is going to bring you to a cheat sheet that I have with all the ways I've shown in this video and where we can help you with additional ways to unlock your account. Like as an example, what you can do is if ever you cannot, for whatever reason, make new um, ad accounts here or worse, you go to your business info right here and you see your business is restricted from advertising, which means now you cannot even make new ad accounts. Your entire business cannot advertise, cannot advertise anymore on Meta. What do you do? What you can do is you can buy a pre-verified business manager. And for that, again, I invite you to check the link pinned in the comments down below where we can help you out with doing so. Another way in which you can do this is if for whatever reason your business here is not restricted from advertising, but you cannot unlock this limit, okay? It won't let you make more than one ad account and all your ad account, like your only ad account that you can make is restricted. What do you do? You can also rent an agency ad account. And so therefore you keep your main business, but you get access to an ad account in which you're going to rent. So those ad accounts typically have no ad spend limit. They don't get banned, or at least if they do, they get back up within 24 hours because an agency handles them. That too is going to be spoken about in the link pinned in the comments down below. Now, Facebook has become a little more pay to play in the last few years since they've released the meta verified badge. Okay. They have two styles of meta verified badges. There's the business verified badge and there's the personal verified badge. What I'm about to show you right here is additional ways of support that you can unlock. If you pay a monthly subscription to have your meta verified badge, what that does is not only will you get a blue check mark alongside your business name on meta, but on top of that, you'll unlock a special chat on messenger. So an extra line of support directly with meta support. Same thing here, where if you sign up with Meta Verified for your personal profile, not only will you get a blue check mark with your personal profile, like I have as an example on my own personal profile, but you'll also unlock an additional way of support. Let me show you what that looks like. If you go to accountscenter.facebook.com, on the left hand bar, you go to Meta Verified. If you're not yet subscribed, it's going to ask you to subscribe. So that is for your personal profile. When you do this, what you now get is here at the bottom, an extra button that says get support. And if I click on that, now I can get support from Meta directly. So on my mobile app, again, I'm on desktop right now, so it won't work. But if I click that same button on my mobile device, it's going to open up essentially a messenger chat with Meta support under which I can also the same step I did earlier in this video where I showed you to paste a message and ask Meta for a review. You can also send it to them not just via email, but now with Messenger using this, using this method. And so here, what I'm going to tell you is the name of the game with Meta is there's about a 60% chance you can get an ad account or a business manager back. Okay. Now you have to be persistent. You have to contact Meta on every single source in which you can get in contact with them, which is why I'm showing you these ways in this video. I'm like, there's the business support way and there's the messenger way, which there are the pretty much the only two ways in which you can do so unless you are a top tier meta partner that has a direct connection at meta. It's the only two ways in which you can get in contact with a meta rep. So you want to blast them and follow up with them as often as you can with these two ways in order to get a response and get your ad account back up. Okay. So that said, that still leaves you with about a 40% chance that you're not going to get it back. Okay. So if you don't, Again, this is where you might want to consider buying a business manager that is already pre verified and or renting an agency ad account, which again, are going to be linked in the pinned comment down below. So this is going to help the majority of you get your ad account back up. And I'm going to leave again in the description below a cheat sheet that is going to recap kind of all the ways discussed today. So hopefully this is going to help you out. Again, I know this is a tough situation to be in. Nobody wants to be in this situation with Meta. So again, hope you're going to get some value out of this video. Now, if you want to work with myself and my team at paidadvertising.com to help you with your meta, Google, or TikTok ads, then check out the links in the description down below to book in a call with myself and the team. And if, or if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me and have me review your ads, funnels, offers, and name it, and learn from my way of advertising on meta, then check out a second link in the description below to join our ad engine one-on-one -on -one inner circle. On that note, I'm going to wish you an amazing day. Check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce and info product marketing tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.